Hi, it's Lynn Dunn from Stamptastic Designs. In this episode of Stamptastic TV, I have two beautiful card ideas featuring the Daisy Delight stamp set from Stampin' Up! By the end of this video, you'll have two Stampin' Up! Daisy card ideas, as well as some tips to help you create even more cards without having to come up with some new designs. For the latest card making ideas and other fun crafty projects, be sure to subscribe to my channel. Does the thought of coming up with new card ideas give you the card making blues? If you have ever experienced the card making blues, type blues in the comments below. Don't worry, today I'm going to give you some fun tips to help you get over those card making blues and get your creativity back. First I will share a simple card idea and then I will teach you how to take that same design and with a few modifications step it up to create a fun fold card idea. Okay so let's talk about the supplies that you will need. Of course you will need the Daisy Delight stamp set from Stampin Up. You will need some soft suede cardstock, some daffodil delight cardstock. You will also need some Daffodil Delight ink, Soft Suede ink, Mossy Meadow ink, a three quarter inch punch, the Stampin' Up! Daisy punch, and some Wood Textures designer paper. So let's get started with some Daisy Delight card ideas. So you will start out with a piece of soft suede cardstock for your card base. You will need two pieces of the wood grain paper. These pieces are cut to five and a quarter by four inches. So you will need one for the outside and one for the inside. You will also need a one by four inch piece of Daffodil Delight cardstock. It's some type of embellishment. So I have some buttons here and a sponge to do a bit of sponging. Some scrap pieces of paper so that we can cut out um, some some circles we'll use a three quarter inch circle punch and you'll need some scrap daffodil delight cardstock to cut out the daisies okay let's get started okay so the first thing we want to do is stamp all of our images we can assemble everything once we have everything stamped and punched out let's start by stamping the daisy So I'm going to need two daisies. They're going to get cut in half to create daisies for this card. I'm going to stamp my sentiment. This one says, your thoughtfulness brightened my day, but I'm going to just cut out the you brighten my day. So I'm not going to use the whole sentiment. Now I want to stamp the little stems for the flowers. And I'm stamping right on the wood grain paper. So now we're just going to create this edge, this rough, worn edge and all you're going to do is just take the paper and just kind of tear it back and forth to create this rough worn edge. Then you're going to take your soft suede ink and you're going to use the sponge and you're just going to sponge lightly across the edge of the card. Okay, so now we can punch out the daisy. So now we have our daisies. Now we just need a three quarter inch circle. And I think we're ready to begin assembly. Now I'm going to take my daisies and I'm going to cut them in half and now I'm going to layer them together with a couple of glue dots. I'm just going to take this circle and I'm going to cut it in half. Then I'm going to add some glue dots to this and put it right in the center there. Now I'm going to cut out my sentiment and now to assemble everything. There you go, that's it. A beautiful card created with the Stampin' Up! Daisy Delight stamp set. Are you ready to step it up? Give me a thumbs up in the comments below. All right, let me show you how to step up this design and create that fun fold card. We are going to use the exact same design, except we are going to make a fun fold card. This is called the Z fold. It's actually a double Z fold because it has this additional fold in it. So I'll show you how to create this. It's really easy, although it might not look it, it is a super simple card. So let's get started. So the first thing you will need 
is a piece of soft suede cardstock, and this is cut at four and a quarter inches by 11 inches long. And so you're going to score it at two and three quarter inches and five and a half inches. So that will create the Z fold. You are also going to cut a piece of soft suede cardstock at one by 11 and score it in the exact same place. So at two and three quarter inches and five and a half inches. You will also need a piece of wood grain paper. So this is cut at five and a quarter by four inches. You will also need another piece of wood grain paper. And this one is cut by two and three quarter by four inches. So I cut it the exact same size as, um, as our score line, but we're actually going to tear this piece so we get this edge along here. So I wanted to make sure that I had enough paper on here so that when I tore it, I didn't make it too short. And then you're also going to need a one by four inch piece of Daffodil Delight and then some additional card stock like the last card. And of course I have my embellishments, some buttons, I have a sponge. So I think we're ready to get started. So I'm gonna lay this down flat so that you can see it as I'm working. So the first thing we wanna do is we're gonna adhere the wood paper to our card. Okay, so what you're going to do is fold this card in half. So this is how you get the Z. You fold it in half on that score line, that five and a half inch score line. And then you take this part of your card. So this is just your regular card size. Then you take this part where this other score line is and you fold it back onto itself. So you end up with a card like this. So to create the double Z fold, we want to take our other piece of cardstock that we scored. So this is that one by 11 inch piece. And we're gonna fold it on the score lines to get another Z fold. So this short piece will be attached here and the longer piece will be attached to this flap. I need to stamp my stem down on this card first. Now I can attach my double Z fold. So I'm just gonna line this up with the edge of the card here. Now you can just fold this down. So I folded this, I have this attached this I folded down and then this I can bring over and just attach it to this side of the card. And I'm just gonna snip this down just a little bit so that it hides underneath my designer paper. So I just want that hidden underneath this piece of paper. So to create this side, it's the same concept. You're just going to tear your paper and then we're gonna sponge some color on there. All right, now I'm going to Actually, I'm gonna adhere this to this side. So we'll put it on this. And then this piece will go right over the top. And that's it. Now you have your Z Fold card. So now let's embellish it. All right, there you go. Now you know how to step up your cards and you also know how to create a fun Z fold or a double Z fold card. Now you have some fun Stampin' Up! Daisy card ideas. For more fun card making ideas, visit my website at Stamptastic Designs and check out the other card making videos right here on my channel. Thanks so much for joining me today. If you enjoyed this video, please let me know by liking it, sharing it with your friends, and I would love for you to leave a comment below to let me know what you enjoyed most about the video and projects. Thanks so much for stopping by. Take care and I'll see you soon.